What's going on guys, Uzi here and welcome back to a brand new video. So as you see on the screen right now, 91 overall Salvio. And I still don't know how to pronounce these cards. I'm going to give it a go. Con Conmable? I have no idea. Mind my, obviously, my pronunciation. But at the same time, 94 pace, 92 dribbling, 89 shooting, 88 passing and 82 physical he looks outrageous and this card is definitely not a winger he is 100 percent a striker and that is where he will be playing today five foot eight meta height high medium work rates the perfect attacking work rate four star skill moves the guy's going to be able to do the berber the standing scoop and it's gonna be beautiful the free the sorry the four star weak foot is going to obviously allow me to hop onto that left foot and hopefully shoot with it now he is on a sniper chemistry though he is obviously on 10 chem 97 acceleration 91 sprint speed if this guy can't outpace center backs i really don't know what to say at this point 99 attack and positioning 99 finishing 94 shot power if this guy can't finish inside the box i pretty much give up with this cards it's simple as that 85 long shots 95 volleys and 99 penalties so you already know what's going to happen if we get do get a penalty with this guy he's going to hit it top bins 89 vision 89 crossing 77 free kick accuracy 90 short passing 77 long passing and 95 curve it looks like he's going to be able to do the little you know cheeky one twos a little link up play but when it comes down to you over the tops i feel like he's going to be able to do it but not to the extent of you know being on that like team of the year kdb or team of the year de Jong level now, he's got 98 agility, and that is something I am obviously looking forward to. 91 balance, 89 reactions, 97 ball control, 99 dribbling, and 97 composure. I'm expecting this guy to turn inside out, be very comfortable on the ball, and shouldn't have a problem. 99 jumping. Him being obviously 5'8", I would say out header 5'10 and below. 89 stamina. Up and down the pitch shouldn't be a problem throughout the whole 90 minutes. 75 strength, it's not great. He will be getting body off the ball, obviously. 83 strength, though, he's going to be fighting for the ball and he's going to win a lot of 50 50s. Now, today I have linked him up with Benedito, I think is how you pronounce it, and Pare I think Pare Paredes. I can't, my pronunciation sometimes is just out of this world. Now, Cyprian, Akone, and Neymar also in the team. I will be using Salvio in a 4 4 2, playing him in striker because I cannot let a person that has 99 finishing down the wing. No chance. But I will obviously try him down the wing in his natural position. So I will be trying him in a 4 2 3 1 as well. But let's get straight into these games. Oh my god, he's got pink boots. I know I'm really going to love him. It's simple as that. But one thing we always do when obviously testing out a card trade off, we test how agile they are. And on that look, just by looking at him on the ball there, he looks pretty agile, I'll tell you that. Good pace. Fake shot. Hold the ball. Keep it nice and close. Release it. Well played. Look at the agility straight through the player. Oh, just couldn't get the fake shot off. But do you see that dribbling in between the two defenders? The defenders had no idea where he was going to go. And he completely split him in half. A complete switch of the player. And it's an unbelievable pass by Salvio. That's an unbelievable run from him. Fake shot around the corner. Double ball roll. I'm actually going to go for a pelt in near post. And it hits the crossbar. I tell you what. That... Could have been an easy finish. Oh my god. The one, two plays between Salvio and Neymar is unbelievable. And we have got a goal. Finally, it took its time. We actually haven't even had a shot of Salvio yet. But his first shot goes flying in. It's amazing run. Use that pace. That's a fantastic touch. Good fake shot. Keep going. Keep going down the line. Use that little footwork. Ah, oh, he did feel amazing on the ball there, I must admit. But at the same time, just getting tackled. Completely bullied out of way. And that is something I am actually having problems with. He just gets, like, shifted off the ball. The way he just, like... He tries to avoid contact in a way. And it's kind of getting annoying. What a turn. Can I get a finish for the game winner? The 91st minute. We have obviously stole the win here. Salvio coming in clutch. Being in the perfect position there. Just in front of the centre backs. He makes an amazing turn. And even a better finish. Use that pace. Use that pace. Keep going down the wing. He is so, so fast. I can really tell we can outpace anyone he really wants. 
That's an unbelievable turn. Beautiful dribbling. Oh, just couldn't get the finish. That dribbling that he does, that you can kind of move your way in, in between center backs, in between left back, right backs, wherever. But couldn't just get the finish. That is so, so unfortunate because that would have been a goal and a half. Oh, you can't give. You can't give Salvio that amount of space. You really can't. Come on now. The left-footed finish, and it's an absolute... I wouldn't say it was a rocket, but I would say it's more accuracy over power than anything. But look at the little... It was like a little chip, if you know what I mean. A little dink into the far corner. But look at this turn. That turn, the touch and turn there was unbelievable. Half track back. Act like I'm going to turn. Keep going. Ball roll. Use that good strength. Little turn. RBA across. He took too long to do the RBA. I don't really know why he turned his whole body. But that's not... I don't think that's his fault. I think that's just, you know, EA with their little animations. But at the same time, if he got that RBA off, that's a guaranteed goal. A complete switch with the weaker foot. It's an unbelievable pass. And I am proud to say that this guy can actually do those little passes across the pitch and that just makes him pretty much a complete striker that's a beautiful touch and turn gonna cut back in use that weaker foot i'm telling you this guy's weaker foot does not feel like a four star that is an amazing finish power accuracy behind the shot wasn't the greatest animation i must say but at the same time i really really don't understand how this animation makes it look this good. It's an unbelievable finish. And the keeper has no chance of saving it. Hill to hill. Get that acceleration going. Ball roll down. I'm actually going to cut back this time. Half drag back. I'm trying to go round the player again. I did too much 100%. But you kind of can see how comfortable I feel, feel with him. He low key in a way feels a bit like Neymar. Like on dribbling wise. It's unbelievable. And if you get used to Neymar. You're going to get used to Salvio. Get that facial around the corner. Use that pace. Get that ball roll off. Oh my God. He's fighting for the ball is something I love. But I tell you what. He is so, so fast. That facial around the corner. I didn't expect it to accelerate that much. That's unbelievable play. Can I get a little finish? Oh, the touch and turn there was so, so slow. But I can also admit the gameplay right now. Oh, my God. It's giving me a headache. It is so slow at turning. So slow at building up. I have to play really, really slow. Savio. Fake shot. Turn. Power shot. It's simple as that. In the right position at the right time. Easy facial around the corner. And it's an unbelievable finish once again. The amount of power and accuracy he puts behind the shot is so, so good, man. One more. Turn. Finish. Oh, once again, the touch and turn kind of letting him down. But I do believe it's also because of gameplay right now. It is too bad, man. I'm telling you, the amount of players they released today, oh, the servers aren't, aren't hitting up to it. That's a really good run. Can I get there first? He's gone for it. Oh, my God. We get super, super unlucky not to actually win that ball back. So, it is actually time to review, man. Let me say, this card is super, super nice. The way he moves, the way he feels on the ball is amazing. And I do actually, like, think he's a low-key... I wouldn't say a cheaper Neymar, but at the same time, I kind of want to say it because he feels exactly the same. He's got exactly the same body type. The only difference is this guy is not 5-star, five 5-star, five which is obviously a big deal in this game. Now, 5 for 8 Obviously, meta height is not going to be a problem. High, medium, at the right place, at the right time. Sitting in front of the centre-backs is always nice to see. The four-star weak foot really felt like a four-star. He was finishing shots left, right and centre with it. Now, the, fa the four-star skill moves, it wasn't amazing, I would say. My probably favourite skill move on this guy was the standing scoop turn. The burber spin felt good, but not top tier. But I just wish. Imagine this card had five-star skills. Oh, my God. The flip-flap around the corner, it's a GG. Pace, unbelievably fast. Shooting, amazing finish. With both feet, and that's the most important. Passing, incredible. Dribbling, just uh, what I said, man. He feels like Neymar on the ball, and that is something you can't really let down. Stamina, unbelievable. Strength is the biggest problem with this guy. 100%. Strength, 
He gets bodied off the ball left, right and centre. You go shoulder to shoulder with this guy, he's going to get put down to the floor. It's simple as that. Aggression, he was really fighting for the ball. Now I have to give this card a rating out of 10. I'm going to give him... I'm going to give him a 9.5. I feel like that is perfect for him. This card is amazing. And is he worth 380k? 100%. Go get this card. Obviously, if you can afford him. And some way, somehow, fit him in your team. But if you guys did enjoy the video, leave a like. Leave a comment. And for now, peace.